Hello. We're here today at a drummer's tradition in San Rafael, California. I'm surrounded by the most beautiful drums from vintage to modern. Robert has a really beautiful collection here. You should check it out. What we're going to do today is show you how to install your kick port. It's really simple, really easy. What you're going to need is a Sharpie, my tool of choice, and an X-Acto knife. Be very careful with the X-Acto knife. So when you get the kick port, it comes in a package, the kick port, and this template ring. And when you get it, the ring is actually on the kick port. So you'll have to peel the collar back, take the ring off. So once you get the ring off, what you do is you peel it, stick it on the drum. What we like to do as a general rule is we like to place it halfway between the rim and the center of the drum. Uh, and it doesn't matter what position, but that's a, that's a good rule to follow. Halfway between the rim and the center of the drum. All right, so once you've got it on, then what you do, take the X-Acto knife, and you don't have to uh, take the head off. I mean, it can be a fresh head, you know, just do it right on the drum. So head on the drum, ring on. What you do, take your X-Acto, and then just poke it, poke it, and nice and easy, nice smooth action around. He was heard to say, that's not so smooth, but you get, you get the point here. All right. <laughs> it's more like sawing. <laughs> it's not always this way. Sometimes it's just cutting it straight, but. All right, but you get the point. Very careful. Done. All right, so now we have our hole. And what you do, you take your exacto, and if there's any little rough edges, you might want to just kind of clean them up a little bit. Uh, but try not to nick the uh, D ring because you want a nice, smooth surface. All right, we're done with that, so I'll put that away. So I'm going to show you what happens when you install the kick port. You fold it back, as you can see. You're going to stick your hand in. I use a Sharpie because that's my tool of choice. And you push on it, you're going to turn, push on it, turn, push on it. Voila, it snaps in place, then your kick port is in. Here, I'll do it again for you. Now it's in the drum, take my hand, stick it in, push on it, turn, push on it, turn. Voila, you heard it snap. Make sure you get the logo straight. There you go, your kick port's installed, quick and easy. It takes about a minute to do it. And if you should ever, Need to take it out. Simple. Pull it, grab the rubber, just as with the other one, and voila, that's it. It sounds incredible. You will love it. 